okay children now we will be going to your uh, exercise part and which we call time to assess uh, part is fill in the blanks the mass of a book is dash then mass of a desk it is what more or less book is small so its mass will be less right dash are the smallest units of substance that have all the properties of that substance right molecules are the smallest units of a substance that have all the properties of that substance liquids do not have a definite shape dash is a gas that is green and smelly chlorine is a gas that is green and smelly dash tells us how closely packed the molecules of a matter are density tells us how closely pack the molecules of a matter are choose the correct answer which of these is less dense than water wood rock or metal definitely wood which of these can be compressed a stone a sponge or a pencil we have already read it that only a sponge can be compressed a material which is which partially lets light through is described as transparent translucent or opaque translucent is a material which par lets the light pass through it partially so which of these is good conductor of electricity a piece of copper wire a piece of plastic cable or a piece of rope a piece of copper wire is the best conductor out of these three okay next state whether each sentence is true or false air is not matter as we cannot see it this is false air is a matter right solids have a definite shape and volume this is true right condensation is the process of changing a liquid to a solid on cooling changing of liquid no this is not uh, this is not uh, in fact condensation is a process through which the air cools down and becomes the liquid so this is false objects can be made from more than one type of material this is true this is partially true objects can be made from same type of materials and from different type of materials also right translucent materials do not allow light to pass through it through them this is false because translucent they can they allow the light to pass but only partially okay now we have to answer in brief why do solids have a definite shape and volume the answer is the molecules of a solid material are very tightly packed so it has a definite shape and volume so why does milk flow when you drop it on the floor the milk is a liquid the molecules of a liquid are loosely packed so it cannot maintain its shape that is why it flows on the floor once you drop it right what is the classification why is it important for us classification is grouping of things basing on the similarities and dissimilarities similarities between them it's very simple it is grouping of things basing on the similarities and dissimilarities between them which is the hardest material what is it used for right diamond is the hardest material right it is used to cut glass and polish other materials then is what is the difference between malleability and ductility malleability is a quality by which the materials can be flattened while the ductility is a quality of materials to be able to get stretched okay and uh, through the ductility quality we can stretch them and make them into wires while um, because of the um, malleability we can flatten them by compressing or pressing them then we have to answer in detail what is the difference between the molecules in a solid and the molecules in a liquid 
the molecules are tightly packed in a solid while in a liquid they are loosely packed for this reason the solids have a definite shape and the volume but the liquids have a definite volume but not a definite shape the example of solid is a ice cube or brick while of liquid is water or milk etc right what causes objects to sink and float यानी किस वजह से कोई चीज़ पानी में डूब जाती है या तैरती रहती है डेंसिटी ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट कॉजेज इट टू सिंक और फ्लोट इन दी वाटर इफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज मोर देन द वाटर इट विल सिंक इफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर इज मोर देन द ऑब्जेक्ट देन द ऑब्जेक्ट विल नॉट सिंक and float on it on the water for example a piece of metal will sink in the water while a piece of wood will float on it you know it that the density of water is more than the density of wood while in the case of metals the density of metals is more than the density of water what is hardness how can it be measured hardness means that how hard a material is if a material can be pressed or compressed easily it is not hard if a material can not be compressed easily it is hard for example a piece of metal can not be pressed easily so it will be called hard while a sponge is called soft as it can be pressed easily okay the next question why are metals like aluminum used to make cooking utensils some metals are very good conductors of heat for example aluminum is a very good conductor of heat so it is very good for making cooking utensils very simple answer why are electric cable wires covered with plastic plastic is an insulator and current cannot pass through it since the current in the electric cables can cause damage it is covered with plastic to insulate it from other things when you take a deep breath and then exhale your hot breath in onto a cool mirror what do you observe and why when you breathe onto a cool mirror and the tiny water particles in our breath are condensed and become small water particles this happens due to condensation of water vapors into liquid form why does an electrician use gloves made of rubber the electrician want to be safe from the electric current to be safe from electric current they put on the rubber gloves as rubber is insulator and current cannot pass through the rubber gloves very simple agar aap uh, electric current se bachna chahte hain to aap kya karenge ki apne aur electric current ke darmiyan mein koi aap rakh lenge kya insulator insulator aap rakh lenge uh, jaise plastic hai to aapne rubber ke gloves ya plastic ke gloves pehne hue hain to aap ko jo hai na aap mehfooz ho jayenge usse electric current se that is why electricians jo hai wo apne हमेशा रबड़ के ग्लव्स पहनते हैं